Hey guys, what's up? This is Linsky. Welcome back to my Let's Play Raging Loop. The last time we were about to start the third feast, I think, on the second route, we discovered that Mochi was a wolf. That sneaky little traitor. And now we're going to try to expose him in front of everyone in the feast. That's right. I want to see. Mm -hmm. We're going to start the feast. I'm going to expose this little wolf. You know, usually they dispose of the bodies and they didn't. So that's interesting. But how? Like, isn't there multiple wolves? Like, how are you gonna get rid of all of them? He was whispering. People wondered if that was really possible. I mean, could you just, like, think, like, let's say he's a wolf, right? Like, he's not. But what if we just tied him up and left him in his room? You know what I mean? What will happen then? Like, would he, like, turn into a wolf and break out of it? We don't know, but we'll see. So do they have a plan or not? Good move. I hadn't explained my intentions to him yet, but he had a vague idea of what I was planning. Really? The keyword was fix the majority. If he understood that clearly, we would have a chance of winning, really. Hmm. After all that happened today, I was kind of worried Kanzo-san wouldn't say anything, but that wasn't what happened. He also wanted to give his all to end the face of victory. That was why he couldn't just stay quiet and let us all die, and continued pushing his strong approach to the feast, denying other ideas. Ah, you know you can only hang one person a day, right? What is his logic? I knew it. I could hear whispers of perplexion and fear. His targets today would be the four who waited for Tai San yesterday and didn't die last night. Basically, the old wolf guy, Yoshitsuke kun, Mikako, and Meiko. I mean, I feel like these three are good. This guy, we don't know. I still don't understand how she was a wolf. Is it because her body was found outside? And it's not corruption? You know what I mean? Because if a regular person outside, they would have died to corruption, right? But she wasn't dead to corruption. But we're going to see their explanation. Okay, yeah, getting straight to it. Okay, I see, yeah, okay. Yasunaga-kun seemed to have recovered a little and was now doing what he had to again. Okay, so it makes sense, yeah. What if she was a- no, but if she was a badger, she would be human, right? So I guess she would still corrupt. Okay, yeah. Hmm. Sorry, there's like a bug that is flying around. Hmm. So, I wonder how she died, because she died in a pretty gruesome way. I wonder if Mochi was the one who killed her, because it seemed like something he would do, like the way she was dead. He looks like someone who would play with his food. And maybe he killed her, so, because she was already messing up pretty bad. She probably was scared that she would expose him and whoever else was the wolf, so I think that's why he got rid of her. That's my assumption. I could be wrong. Taken by the corruption, but the corruption never looked like that before. Haru-chan was a bad guy.
。だけどあれは人間が作れる傷だと僕は思った。マミヤさんの方は、そんなレベルじゃないふん、いやー。だから待てっつなそんなの、あいつが夜出歩いたってだけだろうがふん。あ、その通りだ。I thought you shouldn't walk around at night, you should suck. I thought you shouldn't walk around at night, you should suck. I thought you shouldn't walk around at night, you should suck. I thought you shouldn't walk around at night, you should suck. I thought you shouldn't walk around at night, you should suck. I thought you shouldn't walk around at night, you should suck. I thought you shouldn't walk around at night, 外の人間なら休みずから逃げ出そう逃げられると考えるのが普通だろう That's true but we've never seen the corruption like that before しかし記者の姉ちゃんはそうじゃなかった Yeah she hadn't even tried to run だからなんでだよ That's true yeah 逃げるなら日中に逃げるべきだからだ霧だっつっても昼の方が視野がある<笑>夜は本当に何にも見えねえんだぞ逆に日中に逃げない理由がない霧が助けて逃げたことは俺らに悟られずに済むからな、うん、もし昨日夕方に解散してそのまま逃げたなら安水のどの端にだってつける、うん、なんか他の理由で夜に起きて抜け出したのかもしれねえだろうそれについて聞きてえんだが誰か夜起きていようとしたやつは俺の他にいねえか He tried to stay away because he testing something? That question came out of left field, but Yasunaga kun? Kimi? Yushitsuku kun and I raised our hands, really? お前、それはやめたって。Ah, this bug is annoying me that's flying around. I'm gonna clap it when it, if I see it again. 外に出ようとはしてねえよ。でも。何か来たら帰り討ちにしてやろうと思って、棒切れ持って布団に入ってた。うん。夢枕の金に挑まれたのですかんああ。おとといの晩は、俺もヨシと同じように獲物持って待ち構えてた。だが実際は眠っちまった。うん。So I guess like it's like even if you try to stay awake, something forces you to fall asleep. 考えられるかこんな非常時、眠れない方が自然だろうに、気づいたら朝までぐっすりだ。Yeah, what is this phenomenon? 夜更かししちゃならないんじゃねえ。夜更かしはできねえんだ。これも宴の気味悪いところだと、俺は考えてる。Mm-hmm. お前も起きようとしたならわかるだろう。夜は絶対、狼しか動けねえんだよ。Mm. それは、あの女がよそ者だから。うん、よそ者だって宴は従わせてるよそ者だと免除されるなら記者は2人とも汚れを受けてないはずだ So I guess if she was a villager she would have been like forced into sleep she wouldn't been able to go outside well no because he died outside before I had the serious experience of being spared by hiding in the toilet but I had no choice but to stay quiet this time 橋本さん大きいカメラマンの人は夜に外に出て亡くなったよね、うん、そこははっきりは分からねえただ考えられるのはそもそも物意味もしてなかったんじゃねえかうんみそぎ物意味二つを守る限り必ず眠れるしかし最初から外にいれば、うん、ただあくまで想像だよああそうだなじゃあこの話は使わなくたっていいあの女にはそもそも人として危険を犯して外を出歩く理由がない、うん、あいつが狼で夜に外出して何かヘマをやって罰を食らったそれしかねえんだよ But why? Like how? I still think he killed her, but I'm not sure, okay? I could be wrong. I'm just piling on Mochi right now. Yasunaga kun and Yoshitsuku kun both fell silent. They couldn't argue against that anymore. Sure, what's strange is how we just somehow fall asleep, but there were more cases of people going out at night, both this and the previous time. 
I had to think about it some more later. Makishima san mo sore o shite rashita no desu ka? Yoru soto ni deru mon wa ni shurui da ki yo. Oukami ka? Oukami koroso to shite inuji ni suru hito ka? We've seen that before. How important the dreaming law was to the locals, it was natural for them to assume that anyone who went out at night was a wolf. When you look at it like that, Yoshitsuku kun, who insisted on going out, was extremely reckless. Well, we knew that. And like, isn't there someone who can check the person who was hung the previous day? Like, the crow? Is it the crow or the spider? I forgot, but they can check if she was human, right? But why would the wolves call if, she, if they were both wolves? Why would they kill each other? I'm on the same team. I felt for him. It was his vote that killed Tyson. Even if he was prepared for it, it was hard to justify. Not impossible, but extremely unlikely. Yeah, that's like what he said. It's not impossible, but also unlikely. Hmm? Hmm? <gasps> Oh, she revealed herself? Oh. Oh. You know, we never found out who was a crow the first round, but I guess this role is actually, role is actually useful this time because it actually hung someone. What? Huh? Hmm. Can we trust her? Hmm. Hmm. Her voice was sincere and sorrowful. She put her hands in front of her and placed her forehead on the floor. What if she's also a phenomenal actor? Aww. He, this is the first time I feel like I see him actually kind of really sorry. Oh. こんな乗りだったのかもな。巧みに心配すんな。分かってる。香織さん、よし。今はばあちゃんを あくまで判断材料の一つと考えるべきで、罰の理由になっちゃいけねえ。うん。それで合ってるか、安永。うん。僕が考えてたことと同じだ。けど巧みにいいの。Are like one thing I'm curious about is what still what is the thing that makes the wolves kill? Like Kanzo san slightly opened his eyes, looking surprised he'd come up, but then looked away with Huh。気になることがあるんだけど、発言していいかな、たくみに。うん。ああ、もちろんだ。他にご自分がカラスだという人はいませんか。いや、すなが。ああ、僕だって信じたい。<laughs> oh, yeah. でも、これが今僕に求められてることだ。オリベカオリ以外に自分がカラスだという人はいませんか何聞いてめえ。よしつぐ。いいから。安。安く。I that amplified Yasunaga-kun's voice, putting him back at the front. We like that. However, this was a temporary, temporary thing that could only last in Kanzo-san's high-headedness was failing. 
could be turned around if someone messed up, or was hanged today and drove someone else over the edge. So, you know how they went for Haru to drive him over the edge? Why didn't they go for Yasunaga? You know? Hmm. Those words felt like they were directed at me too. Scary. Dot dot dot. Oh yeah, because he's not sure about what we are too. Let's come I mean, valid point, but this comment he's making is making me think he's a wolf for some random reason. その上、昨日と違って三人も減っている。他に名乗りがなければ本物だというのは、いささか想定ではないかね。ええ、おっしゃる通りです。ただ。yeah, I agree, because I feel like with Taiba, she would have just said that she was a crow if she was gonna about to die, you know? She, I think she would try to save herself. Yeah, okay, see? Exactly. Tai san would have revealed that she before she was hanged, while Mami san wouldn't have a reason to pretend to be a snake to begin with. Haru-chan,確かに証明不能です。だけど... Uh, we can see that, yes. Yeah, but now that we know that she was hanged, she probably wouldn't have said that to Yasunaga either. Yes, that's a good point. That's a good point. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know how to feel about that one. ハルちゃんが正体を完全に隠しきり、その上で狼が殺した彼女がたまたまカラスだった可能性は、これも低い。死人の中にはカラスはいない。これで納得してもらえませんか？うん。マキシマハルがカラスではないという根拠が特に白
つまり蛇のカゴシャもまたまだ死んではいないわけだね。And now he's trying to figure out who the snake is. That's definitely sus. c a u s e they're trying to silence him tonight. He was right. That was the right way to look at it, and it was true. Kare, Matawa Kanozo ga, Nise Mono no Nanori ni Taiste Chimoku Mamoru Liu wa. Ato ni Mawas to Ste. Onaji Koto ga Okite i Nai to Naze Yeru. Tsumari, Kino no Yoni, Nise Mono ga Detecta ni Mokakawarazu. Yeah. Hmm. 彼または彼女が言えるのは山脇妙が人だという真実のみ、うん、それと織部夫人を並べたところで我々には見分けるすべがないのだよ。But I feel like he's derailing the conversation by making it about the crow, which I understand is important, but why are we talking about the wolves? His assertion was a bit cynical, but accurate. He was a modest and cautious one. He would be way more valuable to the human. So, in its item, Boku a Hanta Ikendis. Nazenara Okami to Ste Mamia Sama, Kagomochio Riuni Jome o Negata. Wait, so is he are we implying he's a wolf? Because it says, um, um, if he was, he would be way more valuable to the human, so. That's kind of implying that he's a wolf right now, right? I don't know. しかし、オリベカオリはカゴモチの怪人をしながら、オリベヨシツグの身代わりになることを提案しています。Hmm. 彼女は、賢明でも正しくもないことを言っています。しかし、僕は本心だと思うし、狼の狡猾さはないと思う。みんな、あきかんしだ。おろかゆえに。これが僕がオリベカオリを信じる理由です。うん。ヨシがオオカミならオリベの神さんはカバオが。For what? Oh, damn. Now he speaks up again. My heart skipped a beat. Oh, right, because he's suspecting him and then she's gonna think that if he was a wolf, she'd protect him, bruh. Kanzo san's voice is like a rumble, and just like before, it was dense with gloomness, gloominess, and anger. He had a point, too. If it were her, for her son, Kari san was capable of breaking the feast's mental shackles. But <laughs> not looking good. <laughs> He spoke forcefully. <laughs> So, you will talk this. If he was a wolf, he wouldn't have tried to like go out and kill the wolves at night, right? That's just too risky. Also, Yasunaga kun is finally standing up to him. Like, look at his face. Kito, Olive Kaori no Mujits or Shome Surtami, Shinusio Nareba, Yoshitsuga, Shinde Miser de Show. Yoshitsuku-kun rose to his feet and howled at his brother. ついてるのお前の方だってえ、なんと、アーギュイングだから僕は努力して勉強して産んでくれた母さんにお金や物の形で恩を返すお前はまっすぐに生まれたってだけで母さんについてもらえることをもっと感謝すべきなんだよしす
Oh, the mother's voice quickly silenced her sons. Oh. Yeah, you tell him. You tell him, Kari. The old man grunted in response to the mention of his name. Are we getting lore? Are we getting backstory? Did her husband die in a feast? She's asking the right questions. Dot dot dot. Oh, she literally asked it. That was straightforward. Because, yeah, because if he survived, that means he's a wolf, right? So obviously. Oh no. Is it because he was too smart they targeted him first? Because they said her husband was cunning, right? So, wait, he just. Also, he just, um. What's the word? Exposed? No, revealed that there was a feast before. So this is not the first one. That means he was in the previous one because he knows, right? Oh, yes, sir. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. See? We freaking said that he's been in a feast. Like, this guy must be crazy because he's been in so many feasts before. I mean, I don't know so many, but like he's been at least one. And one is probably enough trauma for a lifetime. Um, so does that mean they were both wolves? And he's been in two feasts. Gosh damn. Uh, <laughs> oh, he finally says something other than the wolf is coming. <laughs> Actually, no. Kanzo could have been a human, and he could have just, like, been the last remaining human who survived before they lynched the wolves. That would have been unlikely, but, um... Hmm. Aww. だから、お願いだから力を合わせなさい。たった it could help us. Like, if he was a wolf before, he could give us insight on how the wolf works. Kanzo san clicked his tongue, huh? Wait, what? Wait, what? I don't know about her. She seems like she's a bad liar, but maybe she seems like maybe she could also lie. Well, he definitely does not seem like a good liar. だから今ほとんどはっきりしたのはタエバーちゃんとハルは人。記者のメイちゃんが狼。この場には狼が二人残ってて、残り十人は人だってことだ。うん。その中で親さんとヤスがサルで確定。さらに。かおりさんがカラスだって可能性はかなり高い。俺はヨシのことも信じてるな。カゴが明かされたわけじゃねえから。この中には入れねえでおくぞ。So I guess they're the ones with the guardians, so that's why they can. Come on, eh. で、どう進めるかだな。もし生きてるはずの蛇の鹿児島が適切な情報を掴んでさえいれば、すでに勝負はついているか。we had the right info because I know who it is. I didn't pick Haru. And there it was. What do you think, Yasuku? If now, the 
ほぼ確実に勝てる、うん、多数派工作そういうことそして残り6人の不確定者から1人のオオカミはおそらく確定者から1人殺す。Alright, so I was trying to kill the bug. This is gonna be like probably part of the whole video, unintendedly, but it is really annoying me. I'm trying to get rid of this t h o u g h Um, exactly. We would still hang one of the six unknown while the wolves would kill one. Hmm. I see. 一番狙われやすいのは名乗り出た蛇のカゴシャでしょう。Hmm. 今日一日蛇が守れれば確定者と不確定者が一人ずつ減った上で明日は確定者か狼が一人見つかる。Hmm. Yeah. Okay. That makes sense. Yeah. 確定六人と不確定四人になるか確定五人と不確定四人狼一人。どうにせよ確定側が多数派になれる。Hmm. この人数比は覆せない。だから勝てるってわけです。ムームーヘビが見つけるのは人二人じゃねえとなんねえのかもし狼を一人見つけてたとしても確定は五人までしか決まらないそうなると狼をくくっても明日は確定四人不確定六人になり人の勝利はまだ確定しない Oh no, should I have confirmed a human? So... Even if we hang the wolf, we still be left with four confirmed humans and six. Hmm. もちろん狼をくくれれば大きく有利にはなりますしきっと蛇が名乗り出れば狼も黙ってない。Hmm. 僕なら名乗り出たものを絶対に殺すとは約束しません。蛇の名乗りは炙り出すための大きなヒントになる。I wouldn't promise that I will certainly kill. Whoever reviews himself. What? Okay. That was the opposite of Kanzo san's approach. The old man clicked his tongue and some squirmed uncomfortably. Tada. Sude ni nak nat teiru haru chan ya Yamawaki san. Mamiya san o shirabe te shimatte tara. Damatte ta hou ga ii ka mo shire nai. Thank God everyone I looked into is still alive. Whew. Mmm. Yeah, I'm so glad I didn't look into Haru because that info would have been useless. Like, even with a. Well, she wouldn't have been a wolf because the wolves got to her, so she must have been a human, right? So, the Nakereva. Zehi heavy no Kagosha ni wa nanori dete hoshi des. Do I get a choice now? I had to think, no, we get. His heart is beating. Was the info I had enough? I couldn't tell them that I'd use my loop and gather info. That was why I could only reveal two results one for yesterday and one for today. I'd already told Takimi san that I checked and confirmed that he was human. Thus, it was important for me to reveal that along with someone whose identity would help us. If I continued my silence, they might begin to believe that the snake wasn't fulfilling his duties properly. This was a do or die situation. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh my god. Oh my god. So I guess this one is freaking. Reveal nothing just sounds horrible. Let's look at the chart. I'm so scared, guys. Oh! It leads to three paths. So I think they said the best scenario was like we found two humans. So maybe this one is Takumi and. I feel like if I say he's a wolf. They're gonna go target us, and I'm scared. I'm really scared, guys. Like, this one is probably Nosato san, so maybe they're both humans. If I think we know that they're both humans, it's. He said it's an insured victory, but this one is not insured victory. I'm scared. Well, but the thing is. Like, even if this isn't the right option and this is, I can't pick this, right? Reveal nothing sounds horrible because we have good info. This info is gonna help them, right? So I'm gonna choose this. I'm sorry. I'm scared, but we're gonna do it. I had evidence to reveal myself. Yeah, and it's like I got those keys, so I'm gonna use them, you know? I had a safety plan all set up. However, I'm scared. 
I also knew it was a ticking bomb that would likely throw things into chaos. Still, I'd already made up my mind, so I couldn't hesitate. Hi. <gasps> Everyone looked at me when I raised my hand. I was nervous, but now that I'd spoken up, all that was left to do... Uh, left to go with the flow and you know what i'm so glad i picked the ones that mattered like if i picked like mamiya or haru because we only had two checks right so if i picked one of them it would have been bad Ooh, i informed them without hesitation Mochi, uh, you better be sweating your dress right now. Nuro Takumi san wa hito deshita. Kamoshidachi Kamochi kun wa ookami deshita. Oh. Eh? Nan desu te? What do you mean what was that? Mochi wa ookami datta. Why does he... Everyone felt silent for a moment. Naturally, there was much commotion and chaos over my sudden announcement. Mochi tamai! Tsukamochi ka ookami. Sore wa... Why did I investigate him? He's smart and has good to intuition. Like, why wouldn't I? Okay, I understand from their perspective, like, why are you investigating a child? Well, we know Yasunaga knows and Haru-chan knows he has good intuition. So, back me up here, Yasunaga. So, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah, guys, I'm still so scared. Like, am I gonna die now? Because. <gasps> no. 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 Yeah. Because other time they protected Mami instead of us. So that's why the wolf got to us, because the snake didn't protect us. Oh, that's Oh my god. Maybe this is a bad idea because Mochi's a good liar, right? He's smart. Oh my god, don't have this be like us dying because he's so good at lying and everyone trusts him. I'd be so mad. True. Kanzo, we established this. What are you on? Are you even listening? Kanzo san's tried fighting back. Is it because he wants to protect Mochi? Guys, really? Machima Kanzo san wa Kamoshida Chikamochi no kata o motsu to yukoto de yoroshi in desu ne. Da da da. Silence was not primarily out of doubt for me, but just the same old habit of his. Saki kikarete mashita ne. Boku ga kare o kago de shirabe ta no wa, kare ga rashiku nai kara desu yo. Hmm. Kare wa motto kanga ii ningen da shi, omoi tsuita idea o damatte ri yona ningen ja nai. Hmm. Sore na no ni konkai, zuibun to kotoba o eran de ita wa, kanga hataraka nai to ka itte mita ri. Hmm. See, this is exactly the part of him that scared me. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, now Oh, yeah, you call him out. Call him out for his aggression. I took a peek at everyone's faces. Yes, Magakun was staring at the ground, lost in thought. Takumi san was bewildered, as he should be. 
Chikamochi ga haru o yatta te iu no. Yes, that is exactly what we're saying. Do you see the way she died? They were clearly playing with her, and also the fact that I think like her face is intact. I guess they had some sort of respect for her also. Kanzo-san's eyes widened. Apparently, he finally understood that a suspected wolf could be the one who killed his granddaughter. Yeah, so you got to know this, man. Yeah. ありえないな。僕にハルちゃんとヤスン以上に大事なもんなんてない。りっちゃんや皆の衆には悪いけども、新内さんやおきてやうだけだって。割とどうでもいいんだぞ。僕には。うん。そんな僕がどうしてハル
I'm scared because they didn't show the voting, so we might be bad in here. I'm scared. Oh no. Yes. Huh? I've done some bad things. Is he just admitting it? He's admitting it. Not him planting seeds of doubt in their minds. Dot dot dot. No, alright. This is bad for his mental. Oh. What? What about the? Yasun. <gasps> pushed forward. Shikamochi, Kamoshida fell into the mist, and the rope went taut. Dot dot dot. Mochi. Huh. Everyone stood there frozen in place while I headed for the plaza. I felt sick. Oi, Usaishi. Huh. Takumi-san caught up with Usaishi. So Takumi really trusted us? Huh. Huh. Yeah, Kaori Oribe Eighty, ninety percent likely to be the real crow. She is can check him right for the next day if we survive. But I have a feeling that it's a bad ending because everything went by so fast. Like they skipped the voting and everything. Yes, Naga Kuni mo ne. Kimi no me no mae no otoku wa kimi no imoto bun wo koroshite hera hera waratte ru nda zo te. Uh huh. Ah, that, that. Demo, sore o shita ra. どうなってたでしょうね、僕は。間宮さんの二の舞でしょうか。俺見ば間宮さんの。すべてが明らかになるとき、安永くんが受けるショックははかり知れないですが。そう、アスミンです。パスはバレンイズビケズ安永くん、
one day may not have been enough to corner them. Corner them. Did I have any ways to ensure I could end it tomorrow? No, this is a problem. Yeah, because for now, I'd investigate who I considered the most suspect. And it's because, like, we can't confirm that we can't find the right person. So then we just be, like, targeted every night. And if we get protected, then someone else dies. So that's pretty bad. As long as the spider protected me, the rest would be a war of attrition. In that case, I had to aim to end it tomorrow. Dot, dot, dot. However, oh my god, is it a game over? I, I freaking knew it. I freaking knew it. Why? Okay, why did we not protect? Why did they not protect us? Though I never woke up after that night. Why? What happened to me? I didn't even know. I felt not even the slightest bit of pain or suffering in my deep slumber. But like the dense mist outside, my sleep appeared to have engulfed everything and become a shroud of not of this world. Did the spider not protect me? Huh. Let's see who voted for him again. Who voted for us? Okay, okay. Because if Rikako-san... Let me see. Ugh, we can't return to the logs. Never mind. In the end, the loser wasn't even allowed to entertain that thought. Why does the Skype spider not believe in us? Like, what's going on? Game over. Bad ending number 17. Nah, no watching corner, but why? So I needed key 11. So I guess I have to go here and get it? Konosuke, right? Because I need that key to... I wrote down the name, left it near my pillow, and went to sleep. Because I can't investigate Haru and Mamiya because they're both dead, so it has to be Kyunosuke. Okay, I think that means he's a human. Because that's what I saw when Takumi-san died. Attain. In key 11, truth of the doctor. You can't be able to the keys list. Route unlocked by this key is represented by the same number on scenario chart. I think killing Mochi is not a good idea because Mochi knows how to knock at sus and a lot of people like him. So even if he was a wolf, they don't fully believe us, you know? Hmm. So can I go down this route now? Yes, I can. Let me just check my keys list real quick. Okay. Hmm. Well, that sucks. So, like, me finding out that he was a wolf doesn't even matter. <laughs> Hmm. Okay, we gotta choose again. Well, we can't do this, so let's try this out. For the one still alive, I could declare that Kyunosuke no Satoshi was a human. With me, him, Takumi-san, we would have three more confirmed humans, completing the fixed majority Nags that Yasunaga-kun had talked about. For that, I had to believe that Kari-san was a crow, but that seemed reasonable to me. After a bit of hesitation, I made my decision. I had to hurry. The wolves must have conflicted right now. They had to be considered whether they could start faking before I spoke up. That's true. I had to declare it. Hi. Oh! My voice sounded stupid. I raised my hand. Everyone looked at me. I was more tense than I imagined. However, now that I've spoken up, my hesitation was gone. Hmm. I made that as clear as possible. Nosato Kiyonosuke-san, Soshite Muro Takumi-san, Kono Futari o Kago ni yori shirabe, Soshite, O Futari tomo, Hito deshita. Hmm. 
Her reaction was strangely calm. さて、不採し君はなぜこの瞬間まで黙っていたのかね。安永君が言った通り、多数派を形成するには6人の確定者が必要でしょう。うん、ばい、because of なくなった方々にもただ、マミヤさんが明らさまな踊りとして出てきたことで、逆に出ていくわけにはいかなくなりました。I then gave them a mostly accurate summary of my intentions, similar to the one I gave Takumi-san. 初日からそれっぽいことを言ってたのはやっぱり本当だったんだね。ああ、タイミングを一したおかげで、一貫しない言動になってしまったけどねとにかく僕が主張すべきは以上です認めていただけるでしょうかカンゾウさんうん。We still left the final call to Kanzo Makishimashi and it was actually a good thing was still like that Some people resisted him, he was well respected here A split here could destroy the fixed majority てめえ、昨日言ったな特別な力なんてねえって I knew he would go there. Like, this man ain't listening. We literally just explained why we couldn't and didn't reveal. And he's like asking the same question. Huh? Dot dot dot. Yeah. やるべきことがうそつきは苦るのが歌での鉄則じゃ。何でうそつきはダメなの人は嘘をつかないことを前提に狼を探す。狼は必ず嘘をつくから。狼、I だから僕は鹿児島じゃないとは言わずに特別な力はないと言ったんですが、事実超能力なんてありませんからね。This <笑> 俺とキヨのことを人だと認めた。狼だろうが言えることよ。Do you speak from experience? He wasn't wrong there. If I was a wolf and got comfortable in the human side like I was trying to do now, the humans would be as good as dead. After all, I can investigate the other wolf and just say they were human, adding them to the confirmed human count. Yeah. And if I did that in a few days, we get in a situation where all the suspicious people were gone while the feast was still going on. This is a waste of time difficult to recover from. In a sense, the fate of the humans depended on whether they believed me or not. It was a huge gamble for them. But why? Why wasn't any wolf taking this chance? Makishima no Gorojin wa kare ga ookami de watashi to Muro o dashi ni ikinokoro to kangai te iru to? Hmm. Hmm. Sore wa hitei dekinai ga. Watashi wa... サイシさんを信じますよ。隠し事はしても本当に害のあることは考えない方だと思いますから。Is it because we had that heart-to-heart -heart talk? She was overestimating me, but at this moment, I appreciated it. Yeah。僕もです。理由はサイシさんが僕とほぼ同じ理屈で宴を分析し、人の勝利に向けて合理的に手を進めてるから。I appreciated that. Maybe you want to buy him a drink once he was old enough. Aww. Oh, we got three people who trust us now. なぜじゃ。こいつに死ぬ気なんてねえってことを信じているからな。だだだ。おやっさんはこいつに従って怪しいやつ全員くくっても宴が終わらねえって事態を恐れてんだろ。Wait, really? 
He might pick the wrong targets and we... That's... Really? Is that a possibility? Hmm. そうなったらもちろん残った連中は不採取をくくるよな。こいつは予想もんだ。休み済み対する恩義で死のうなんて考えちゃいねえ。だからこそ死ぬような嘘はつかねえ。だからおやっさんがヘビは全員くくるっつ
And like last time, when we had expectations like me, everyone here was participating in the feast the way they were supposed to. That's why everyone could have a guardian of some sort, even if they were too childish or senile to make good use of it. I'd been actually afraid that they would get a, uh, that they would get a wasted guardian. I didn't expect him to come out as the second spider, however. Why him, of all people? Why the spider? Oh, well, you know, I think he might be a wolf because he and Mochi are good friends, so he'll probably listen to Mochi, right? And he's also been in Feast before, so maybe he's not as dumb as he pretends to be. Gigi, huh. Oh no. Man, I really want to believe Rikako. I'm so good at such the old man. If I'm being played by Rikako, whatever, at least I'm being played by Rikako. <laughs> that laugh. <laughs><笑><笑> Yeah, good to know. He called him useless. Mochi, Okami Jijito, ボクにとって他人はみんな良くわかんないから。じっちゃん、元気。おお。元気だって。ああ。やれやれだ。おい、ジジ。初日と二日目、誰を守った。聞くのせい感動のサモンエルス、ライト。おお。うん。いいか。
It could turn the tides in the endgame, yeah. The best spider was best kept hidden at all costs, but Rikako san revealed it so it draw the votes towards her. She used it for her own plan. I didn't know how accurate my assumption was, but it seemed like an effective course of action. I believe in Haruaki san's deductive skills. Though she probably didn't expect a sudden fake, yeah. It was day three, and the fixed majority plan was becoming a reality, yet no wolves came out as snakes or crows. We all knew the dangers of the wolves taking the snakes role, while taking the crow would help them hide the amount of wolves still alive, giving them a path to victory. However, there was next to no point in pretending to be the spider. Even if you claimed to be the spider and you said you could protect someone, and even if no one died, you still could be suspected of being the wolf fixing the game. However, there was an exception. It was effective in helping the wolves know who the badger was, huh? Really? It was probably true that Tansan was the target the first day, but was stopped by Mako, who was ordered by Rikako-san. That was why the wolves, who knew what they were aiming for that day, had recognized Rikako as the real deal. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, so she's, they're saying that Rikako told Meiko was Meiko to um, protect Kanzo, and they think that she is the real one because she knows who was protected. And you only know um, who was protected if you're either a wolf or the, 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 the what's it called? The spider, right? They also understood that the old wolf guy was lying. That meant, from the wolf's perspective, he was a human who told a lie. It was too obvious. The wolves knew about the badger. The wolves and their ally needed to be proactive about lying. The old guy defied that rule, letting the wolves know what he was. With Hisako Mamiya's death, they had lost the wolf, but with this, they now had three again. Wait, how do we know he's not a wolf and he's just the badger? Because I thought Mamiya-san was a badger, not a wolf, but apparently she's a wolf because she died outside. Also, Kanzo-san was considering his opponent, Rikako-san, as the next candidate for hanging. In this situation, we had to make good use of the six confirmed humans and hang the lying spider. The easiest choice was to trust Kanzo-san's decision on both Rikako-san's by gathering wolf, badger, and confirmed human votes, Rikako-san would be sent to the tree. Hmm. It was a chance for the, the wolves to kill the spider and make them think that the wolves, the humans killed a wolf. This was really effective for them, but extremely dangerous for us. Yeah. Exactly. Even if it was a real spider, Mako survived, it would be really difficult for me to talk about the badger and explain that Rikako-san was a fake spider on their side. Yeah, that's just too much. I don't know if they had the mental capacity to understand. Um. Yeah, I had to convince the human side that they should vote for, um, vote to hang the old wolf guy instead, dot dot dot. Was that really right, though? I had to think carefully. I only came to understand Ikako-san's intentions because she told me to vote for her in a peculiar situation. Not a game! Not a game of this choice! I was assuming that both she and the old wolf guy have ulterior motives, but was that really right? Was the old guy even capable of that? He played a pretty he played with a pretty useless guardian. Maybe he only came out because he found it strange that another spider had named themselves? In fact, it was the most natural reaction, especially in others' eyes. Same went for Rikako san. From what I saw, she was more of a legend and harmony than intelligence. What if she, she was actually thinking that by protecting Mako? She would be considered a good guy and avoid gathering votes. Hmm. What if her affection for me was all part of the plan too? Dot dot dot. Crap. This was obviously the more reasonable line of thinking. Also, Rikako-san could have been lying to let the wolves know something. Anyways, we had a relatively sane young woman going up against a completely senile man. No matter how you looked at it. Uematsu. Teimei. I thought I had to make a choice and that scared me. 
choice is obvious. じゃあどうして今になって言った。てめえ一度何票か入った時に言ったな。うんはい。申し上げました。じゃあなぜ今くくられそうになってカゴを言い出した。うんだだだ。Felt silent. I couldn't tell whether it was a silence to protect Mako, or just an awkward silence because he pointed out a harsh truth. Hmm. Yeah. I think it's the latter. I think it's because he pointed out the harsh truth. Kimatta do ga. Omae ra wa dou da. Da da da. Watashi wa Yasunaga no hyo ni makasemasho. Oh my God! Not everyone leading their vote for Yasunaga. So da na. So re wa i. リカコさん、あなたは雲のカゴ社で本当に間違いないのですな。はい、マサト様、間違いございません。He's gonna like, yes, my lady, your word is the truth. I will protect you with my life. うーん、なんかどっちも遅くさいな。Oh, he's sharp. てめえカモシだ。Wait, he might know from that. He knows she's lying, so he might know that Mako's a real snake. Now that's not good. Onnerchan, daijoub. Anata no koto wa mamoru kara. Aww. Nanka okashiku nai? Kouhei ja nai yo. Rikako san, kore made zutto yasumizu no tame ni hidoi koto iware temo taete kita jan. Huh? Nande? Ojii chan ga ikinari idashita koto de zenbu hikkuri kaeru no? Yeah. yeah, you call him out, Chiemi. Thank you, Chiemi, for using your brain. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Don't make us. Oh my god. What was I to do? How was I to approach this? Oh my god. Oh, I don't want to go through this making the wrong decision and dying again. Guys. I am going to think that if I vote for the old wolf guy, we're going to die because he's going to know that we know something. Well, they already know that we're a spider, right? If I kill, we kill her who's alive. Okay, we're gonna count the people who we think are good. We're good. That's one. Mako's good. Two is what we're assuming, right? Chami, we're assuming she's good. We know. Okay, let's just go with confirm, confirm. We know we're good because I don't need to explain this, okay? We know that these two are good. That's three. And then supposedly she's good. That's four. Five. She's good. Six. Seven. So who is left for the wolves? There's two wolves. We know he's a wolf. So who's the other wolf? Like, is it this guy? But he's claiming to be a badger. So if he's a badger, who's the other wolf? Chami? Cause what? Oh my god, guys! I don't know. All I know is it's giving me a headache, and I don't like it. What's hmm? I don't know. Like, yeah, I might die because I wanted to protect for protect Rikako. But we're out in the open now. Like they know we're a snake, so we already have the target on our backs. So what we need to do is fix the majority vote, right? So we gotta have a vote for the old wolf guy, unless I'm being played for Rikako, played by Rikako. 
But, um... I just still feel like someone told him to say it. I don't know. If I die, I die for simping, and I stand by that. This would be a gamble. I had to remove the unpredictability and simply play the odds. I would have to rely on common sense. Yeah. By the first impressions I had, or... Maybe I would just believe the Kako-san. Mm -hmm. Huh. It didn't have to be true as long as everyone was won over. Eh-to. No. The feast is where people hunted lies. I couldn't let my eloquence alone do the talking. I needed truth. Mm-hmm. Did I have to talk about Mako then? No, that would simply make me simply unforgivable. Yeah, don't put a target on her back. Then. Mm -hmm. I would play the role presented to me. That was the only way for me to gain the trust. What do you mean? If I die, I would be wrong. I would be a thief. Takumi and Nosato are a person. I would be a person. I would be a person. くってるのだから残り10人。人確定が5人。ただし、香織さんのみ自己申告。うん。ただだ。しかし、残り5人は香織さんに票を集めることはできないでしょう。うん。な、吉次君。ああ。お袋には投票しねえ。だから必ず5
僕は彼をくくるべきだと提案します。Yeah, what are you gonna... 最も確実な道を取るために。What are you gonna say against this beautiful speech we just made? You cannot say anything, poke any holes in our arguments because it's facts and logical. も僕は彼女が本物だと思っていますし、非常に些細なことですが、信じる要因もある。説得力はないので。Hmm. ただ、たくみさんの言うように、僕、mm-hmm. リカコさんが命を賭して守ってくれると、当然のように期待していますから、この選択をするんです。僕は実のところ、こういう卑劣な人間ですが、僕が蛇の加護を引いた以上、僕はこういう攻略法を行います。僕の将来の命をかけるということが、信頼も、後ろ盾もない。ただ命が惜しい。信じてください。ヤス、キヨ、どうするタクミさん、インスタントに言った。信じます僕は最初から不採取さんが蛇じゃないかと思ってましたから。あらまはあそうだな。私も信じよう。何よりも、リカコさんをくくることには承服しかねるのでね。カオリさんは。はい。安永に委ねますから。おやすさん。だだだ。おやすさんは。信じられん。あ、oh, of course。こいつが言った理屈にはきっと穴がいくらもある穴にはまった時責任を取らすすべはない What do you mean? We have no holes in your reasoning You say that there's gotta be holes but you can't even point out a single one So それよりわしは自分を信じるタエバーに票を入れた植松を殺す The fixed majority will fail then. Oh, yes, son. But Takumi san did something unexpected. Oh? Tanam, oh, yes, son, no, you, oh, or any cray. He lowered his hands and forehead on the floor. Takumi, Nicha. Saki, Tayoni, whatever quits no kangae or shinji. Quits were zen in Jane. Kito, taking him out of Nangina. Shikashi, I could do in Indian da karate. オオカミになるわけじゃねえ。俺はこいつの言葉の端々に、こいつの本気を見出した。だから俺を信じてくれ。休水で三十年の付き合いの俺を信じてくれるなら、もし、不採子が嘘つきだと分かったら、たとえ汚れを受けてでも、不採子と上、そう。約束する。お、I mean we did lie about believing she was real, but he did the same as me. Bet his life on his words. He even gave his honor. Dang. Da da da. Takumi, Kono, Baguga. Aww. Oh, yes, son. Teme wa, Utage no Katazke ga andaroga. Washi ni wa mo, Nani mo ne. Kegare wa, Washi ga yomi ni mo te iku. What do you mean? Mo, Saishi. Hai. Yuta kara ni wa, Kakugo se. Oh. Why is he so mad? What? Okay. I gulped. I was being quitted by an old hunter who was no stranger to death. Alright. Without an expression of word, he pointed at me. Gigi. One vote. Okami Gigi. Mm-hmm. Two votes. Ojisani. Yeah. Send him to the tree. Yasumi's no gorozin. Oh, four votes. Okami Gigi. Ikyo get it. Five votes. Jijong. See how he hesitated? Yeah, because you like him and you know he's a wolf or a badger. Yoshikun saw Jijani. Ah, what do you ask? Ja, mo, kimari nanda ne. So nara, boku mo isho de iya. Gomen ne, jitchan. So he's, the way he said sorry doesn't seem like sorry because we're killing you, like we're hanging you. It's sorry because you're on our side and I have to betray you. That's what it sounds like to me. Kamoshida sama. Okami jiji ni ippyo. Mm hmm. Da da da. Haruaki san ni ippyo. 
She doesn't trust us? Da da da. She is not. So, no, she is not. I don't know. 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 Don't trust us? What's going on? Huh? Me? I mean, he ain't wrong. I'm sorry. Oh, poor guy. You know what? Chami is a good. She has a good heart. Like, she was standing up for, like, she was always standing up for the weak. Aww. Uh, not this again. You always need time. Damare. Kanzo san suddenly punched the guy. Oh my god. Last time when he needed time. What's going on? Dude. He quickly tied up the wolf guy and pulled him off into the mist. Why was he acting like that? Did he know something? His voice is strangely subdued, but I could feel intense emotion behind it. Why was he so sad? That was like a little sus. Like something's going on. Maybe he knew something from the previous feasts. None of us knew what made him like that, so we just all sat paralyzed. But it's good he did that, because last time he said he needed time, much went out with him, and they both died. That was horrible. Oyasu-san, how did you do it? The one who moved first was Takumi-san. Makishima-san, what are you doing? What's going on? By the time I went outside, Takumi-san already was already disappearing in the mist. Takumi-san! What is going on? Oh, oh, what is going on? What is going on? Oh, just in case. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Mm hmm. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. What was going on here? Last time when the old wolf guy was going to be lynched, it led to some unexplained murders. I shouted that. Please. There was no response. Even his footsteps were vanishing in his vis. Don't tell me that it's game over because he's gonna die. Like, no. Da, da, da. Oh my god. Who is that? That's the same a voice that happened when Haru died. So, is it Chami now? I felt my heart jump. Wait, what the frick? I turned around and saw nothing besides Yoshizuku kun, who was wearing a suspicious scowl. Was a mad sussy. Who was that? Because Haru chan is not here anymore, so who was that? Dot, dot, dot. He had a point. They only trusted me because Takumi-san was vouching for me. What's going on here, guys? I'm stressed out. Okay, good. My worries are for nothing. And in about half an hour, we were joined by both Takumi-san and Kanzo-san. Their expressions are grim, but imply nothing specific. Oh, he sat down on the seat closest to the entrance. He didn't see it? I have a bad feeling. What if he just hit the old man, you know? For that, today's feast has ended. Everyone sighed quietly in relief. There must have been some of the wolves' depression in that. After all, from my perspective, we were just one step away from victory. Are we dying again? No, stop. However, this step would be one that was very hard to take. Dot dot dot. 
How easy would it be if I died and it all ended then? However, it would once again be pointless. Until I solved why death hadn't come for me, I remained afraid of this unexplained phenomenon. Until I saw the mystery and escaped the loop, I would see many tragedies, fight against fear, and keep seeing many bad endings. A part of me hoped that winning the feast would end it, but if it didn't, I would have no clue what the core of this mystery was. Yeah, what are those? Was this mystery even solvable? But why are you so like... Could I cling to my own sanity until then? Why is he so having so much self-doubt all of a sudden? I remain uneasy. Oh my god, this man is always uneasy. After a bit of rest, we had tons of things to do. Top priority was cleaning up Mamiya san and Haruchan san remain. I wanted to help, but they stopped me since something might happen in the mist. I couldn't help with food either, probably because they were wary of me too. I couldn't blame them, considering what I said. In a way, they were more distant with me than last time, when I was just a pure outsider. I continued watching people carefully um, to do what they had, making sure there were no blind spots under Takumi's guidance. I wanted to win. I had gotten this far, so I wanted to defeat the wolves. Though, that was actually just a part of my desire to survive and expose the things I have no choice but to keep quiet about. I said all that horrible stuff in order to protect Mako. I just wanted to finally find peace from stuff that bothered me. That felt like escapism, though. It seemed to pr like proof that my mental state was weakened, and I didn't like it. But how? As everyone worked, I had nothing to do. Kinosuke, she who wasn't too involved in the work, whispered that to me. Eh, so ですね. I didn't know if everyone else believed me, but I did feel like I was close to the conclusion. He's a sharp one. So ですね今はまだ Hmm. I couldn't let anyone find out that Mako was a spider. In fact, if I tried to survive after someone found out that what she was and that I prioritized my own survival over hers, that would be the target of everyone's scorn. That was how complicated my current position was. Oh my god, are you jealous? Dot dot dot. Well, I knew he'd be curious about that. Incidentally, Rikako's Helen had suggested on going with Takumi-san and others to mourn the ones lost. Dang, this man is grieving right now. He's hurt. What was I supposed to say here? Nosato-san ga Uematsu Rikako-san o daiji ni sare te iru no wa chouja to shite no kyokan ni wa todomara nai no desu ka? Okay, are we finally gonna know about more about him? Da to sreba, mada nani ka ga kimatta wake ja nai no de Nosato-san mo kanojo ni omoi o tsutai ni natte wa? Yeah. Iya, so yu no wa ne. Watashi no baai wa tan ni mukashi no koto da. What is this past? We need this tea. Ah. もしかして過去に付き合っておられたとか。当人同士の気持ちが大事。私も外の暮らしが長かったからわかる。彼女を高みに支えている。木を方変のすべては。だから。そんな束縛のない男が彼女を外の世界で幸せにするなら。これもありなのかもしれん。He's <笑> そんな風にも思えるようになったのだよ。僕からは何とも言い難いです。最終的に何をどうするのか選ぶのはその辺りは君と彼女の間のことだろう。私が口出しをするのは無粋。彼女が根矢の端ためとして背負ってきたものはき
。と言いますと、yeah. それは私の口から言えることでもない。まあ、hmm. それはぜひ。He then gave me a business card. Kyunosuke no Sato MD, graduated from XX University, doctor? Wow, he really was an elite. It wasn't for a specific job, it was just his personal info. Was he looking for a new job? It had his email and phone number on it and felt like a relic. Looking at it prompted a bit of nostalgia, even. Dot, dot, dot. The bedroom woman servant, Soro, huh? What does that mean? Was he being considerate or was it some sort of warning? Sound like a warning. It didn't seem like I could ask any further, especially of all the people here, so I would just take it as goodwill and move on. I didn't think much of this. What? I'm scared. What does that mean? I had absolutely no idea that I would catch a glimpse of a new kind of darkness from the Uematsu family and Fujiyoshi as a whole. Oh, what? What does that mean? That's sussy. The cleanup was over and everyone returned to eat. Kyori san was a good person. Not when she was crazy, though. I didn't know everything about her, but she treated everyone with respect. Keeping her relationships proper and bright. Oh, yeah, don't show me that. That was scary. I knew for sure her personality was supported by her sons. She'd arrive at Fujiyoshi and had to deal with their strange customs, lost her husband, and was sent here to Yasumizu, where she lived for over a decade. Her mind was actually very frail at this point, and without the, her, support, her sons to support her, she would easily break. Yeah. She has w e n t through a lot, so it makes sense how, like, when. Her son died, it just mentally broke her. It makes sense. However, even when it came from a strained heart, mind, and good,、uh, even if it came from a strained mind and heart, goodwill was goodwill and conscience was conscience. Not to mention that she didn't do anything bad yet. The fact that I checked my own bowl for something green despite that made me realize how ill nature I really was. I mean, she, <laughs> no, because it happened. It's called trauma and PTSD. Unfortunately, That was just how it was. And I think like, he had a pretty like, traumatic past, I'm assuming, with what he's told us so far. So I would at least keep my mask and effectively give them the conscience of my own kind. I sat down, put my hands together, picked up the chopsticks, and ate the rice gruel. Like always, it was simply simple, beastly, yet still good. I only felt something was wrong with it a bit later. What? What? Oh, no, no, no. Are we dead at first? I just thought I burned my mouth or something. What is going on, guys? But suddenly I couldn't feel my mouth at all. And after a natural sensation overwhelmed my tongue and cheeks, I lost sense of direction. Did someone poison the food? Huh? My body twisted, and right as dull pain went through my head, I fell to the floor. I'd been poisoned. What? Of course, they would do this because the wolves knew that it was going bad for them, right? I could understand that clearly. But all my processing power went to dealing with the unnatural feeling attacking my body. I couldn't see properly. I couldn't breathe or speak. Despite that, I still had a burning pain in my mouth and urge to vomit along with unbearable agony. I couldn't understand what was happening around me. It was probably pure chaos, but I was struggling to even breathe. And it was only getting worse. Oh god. A sudden intense impact hit my back. My body jumped and then I puked. Fuji! Fuji! My breathing stabilized for a moment and I could hear a voice as well as see something. A wet floor in my own hands. Oh. Ugh. Got him stressed out. However, the nausea didn't end. The spasm made me feel like my chest was turning inside out and then I soon puked again. What is this? That's not. 口にしてすぐだとこの辺りのものならば渦しか他に食べた人はあ、私も食べたよというかみんな大体食べてるじゃん What is going on? So are they all dead? オリベのてめえち、違う違います Is somebody, is that mochi? It's not Kyo, we know he's good <笑>とにかく吐かせねばホースゴムホースはあるかねホース伊勢ん城だろくにやったことはないがやるしかあるまい
I couldn't understand what they were talking about. My burning throat was a clear message. This is Oh no, aren't y'all poison too? Like. Yeah, please. Someone was treating me somehow. I could tell that much. But I also knew it was too late. I was strangely calm about it too. So, this is the end, huh? I freaking knew it. Are we dead again? I hate life. Like I figured, making it to the end as a snake was pretty difficult. What about next time then? What was I supposed to do to move forward? Ugh, shit. I wanted to bring his memory, any memories as possible to the next round. I wanted to hear what they were saying, memorize it, and analyze it properly to the next loop. That was unlikely, though. All my memories from final moments so far were pretty vague. I was fated to never die, yet to die so many times. It was a really interesting thing to think about, but not even those who return seem to be given the key to the mysteries of the final moments. <laughs> No. 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 Who did this? Even the pain was becoming dull. My mind was on the verge of fading. Oh my god. What? Huh? What? Question mark? Everyone suddenly fell silent, and I thought this was because my senses were fading. However, it was actually the opposite. My senses were absurdly clear considering the situation. This could have been a pre-death lull, or perhaps some sort of delusion. I would have preferred to die while paralyzed, though clearly feeling the pain of death wasn't exactly a good time. That was a weird statement to make, but the absurdity was lost on me. Suddenly, I felt the light past my eyelids grow weaker. Once it was almost completely dark, I realized it was because the windows were closed. I slowly opened my eyes. I couldn't see clearly, but only because of the dim lighting in the shut dining hall. I moved my head. It felt really heavy. My heart had almost stopped pumping blood. My pulse was dull and weak. I was certain I would die soon. But then, I felt Rikako-san approach me. Her expression wasn't clear to me, but... Her breathing was strangely loud. She was panting, but trying to endure it. I thought that because of the sight quivering in each of her breaths, after covering, no, wiping her mouth, she brought her body close to mine. What is going on? What? Huh? What is going on? No. She actually straddled me. Though she was in a position where she could look down on me, she looked at me with upturned eyes. In addition to that, her bashful expression made it clear she was about to do something sinful. She stopped hiding the intensity of her breathing. Her small tongue, what with saliva, was peeking through her mouth. And it was extremely lustful. What is going on? Is she preferring some sort of ritual? I thought she was gonna take the poison out of us, but what is this? I could feel her warmth on my abdomen. With her every breath, I felt the hardness of her pelvis, despite all the cloth between us. Even though I was dying, or maybe because of it, the feeling of the opposite sex on me awakened the instinct, the man within me. Skier. What is going on? Is this the bedroom woman servant thing, or what is going on? Her voice felt like it didn't belong to her. A refined, traditional woman. A woman that appeared younger than she was. A clumsy woman with some unfortunate tendencies. A mysterious woman. And none of that was there. She was now lustful, bewitching, overpowering. The enchanting, maturing lady scrimmed as if suffocating her familiar black clothing. As I noticed that, she reached the edge of my shirt, lifted it up, and went in with her fingers with practiced motions. They were cold, but I could feel them on my skin, pressing my belly button, making me moan slightly. Is she like pressing the poison out or something? <laughs> okay, she's kind of scary. Is this some of her family's secret ritual or something? Then she reached her other hand in and moved them both without restraint. 
As her arms went deep inside, her palms caressed my torso, and her fingers lost fully searched for any sensitive spots. Despite my confusion, it made me moan over and over. I thought this man was dead. I don't know what's going on, guys, but I'm clearly lost and confused, just like Haruoki said. She was toying with my near mortal clarity, which is both confusing and a bit uncomfortable. However, I didn't resist. Because my le the limbs were weak from the poison? No. I would just be making excuses. But did everyone else leave? Like, what's going on? I enjoyed that she was having her way with me. It was exciting, numbing, and paralyzing. However, when she reached my, my belt and tried to do it, I somehow found the power to put my right hand and try to push her aside. It was a feeble gesture, but enough to get the message across. So who is she? This is a different person. Her whisper told me she understood me, but was somewhat indifferent about it. She moved and backed away to the side. As her warmth faded, the coldness from the impended death came back. Oh no. Then she smiled and took something out of her sleeve. What? An ice pick? It seemed like a Japanese made all. Upon seeing it, I couldn't understand anything anymore. Was she trying to make love to me? What is... Torture me? <laughs> Kill me? I couldn't understand, but it appeared that my resistance from a moment ago left me completely powerless and unwilling to do anything. As my vision grew dim, so did my senses. But then I felt a pain in my left shoulder. Has she pierced me with the awl? That was the last thing I thought and felt before losing consciousness. My eyes opened and I sat up. What is going on? I'm so confused. Okay, so I guess picking. So I guess we took the right path, right? Because we didn't go over here. But god damn, what is going on? It's dark. She scared me. Chemi was right next to me for some reason. She was holding my hand, crying her eyes out. <laughs> She then rested her forehead on the back of my hand and began crying even more fiercely. I looked around. This was the dining hall. Everyone else was here too. But they all were conflicted with expressions. Shami was the only one expressing how openly how they felt. So does that mean they know we're good? Because if we're bad, why would we be poisoned, you know? What happened? I actually had no idea for a moment, but then... Uh, right. I almost died. What saved me, though? And why did I feel so good? It was like I had a full night's sleep. Hard to believe I was just on the brink of death. What magic did Rikako perform? Oh my god, we're fully fine. Yeah, it's is it okay for them to be all out like this? It's kind of scary. Not that die. Not the same poison from last time. Not that die. Not that die. Not that his so tone seemed somewhat sarcastic, but he was probably just hiding how suspicious and uneasy he felt. It was I and Ikako-san who was standing near the window, looking down and comforting Mako. He wasn't the only one. She was the center of attention here. Wonder, disbelief, reverence, reverence, worship. I had little to doubt what the, uh, that was what he actually thought. What? what did she do? Oh my god. Wait, but are they sussing us out because we're alive? Because no, uh, we th went through all that pain. I didn't agree there. Being saved by some religious rite was just as ridiculous as this death group I was trapped in. 
prayers? Religious rites? Did I experience really qualify? Yeah, I don't know about that one. I reached for my shoulder and felt fresh bandages. The cotton was bloody, meaning she really stabbed me. Maybe like that let out some of the poison? Did she suck out the poison? That couldn't be it. I wasn't being bitten by a snake. I didn't just aconite poison. You couldn't just suck that out of the bloodstream. Dot dot dot. How did she do it? She had said that, right? Taking my poison? Hmm. この場の役目が皆様の憎しみを引き取るということなのかもしれないとそこからかつて植松家は Huh. huh. So that was how it was. I understood now. I don't. And I also understand how frightening the Uematsu were. However, there was something more important to worry about. That makes us not sus, right? Oh my god, yeah, of course. Yeah, he could. Yeah. 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 I just realized that her black clothes were gone. You just realized, da da da. Oyasan. Hmm. Oh, he actually trusts us? No way. There it was. Everyone was here, but Kaori-san alone seemed to be in a different position. She was deep in the room, sitting, probably forcefully, on a chair with a pale face. Hmm. So probably they poisoned just him. おそらく。おそらく。おそらく。おそらく。おそらく。おそらく。おそらく。おそらく。おそらく。おそらく。おそらく。おそらく。おそらく。おそらく。おそらく。おそらく。おそらく。おそらく。おそらく。おそらく。
器用だけに嫌われ役をやってもらうのは本意じゃねえからな<笑>なれんまねをする者だ getting along because they're both confirmed to be good guys ただ俺は個人的にはカオリさんを信じてる Okay, you trust everyone personally, so. Kaori-san, Yoshitsugu, Mamoro, to stay Korosnara. Konoba, Zain, Korosdaro, yo. Sorry, Bareta, Atomi, Iwake, Nante, Shineda. Oh, he knows her well. That's literally what happened last time. Sonna, Okane, Konjo, Kimata, Kachandaro, Antawa. Yeah, yeah. Da, 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 da. Yeah. <laughs> yep. He was completely right about her. Takumi san knew her so well and still fell for her, huh? Aww. I shipped them. He was serious about her. They need to get together right I know this is not the best time, but after this, they better get together. It made me want to cheer him on. In that case, I didn't make it through the night. I believe you, Kaori san. Fusaichi san. Do you have a reason? Yes. 確かに状況証拠では怪しくても、彼女の人となりが疑いを帳消しにしていると思いますから。あとは、僕を信じてくれた匠さんの分析を、僕は信じたいと思ってます。<笑>ありがとうよ。よろしいので、どうせ今日は、もうくくれん。明日のことは、明日考える。I'm still very sus about, like, the old man. What if he didn't die? You know, like, why was he so big on, like, Hanging him, him, the old guy himself. Like, I don't get it. I guess last time he couldn't do it because he was dead on day one, but there's something going on here that we need to know. We left the family of three and went outside. Gee, so yeah. Was he do do it? Did not give him his gun. Eh, to. Yo, mo, yes, son, die job, that. I guess. Yes, son. Oh, me, get. Ah. Huh? To my surprise, the hunting rifle was placed against the dining hall's walls, but. Bolt, do go at the. Kirin, naka, ni, nage, chatta. Oh. Kanzo-san grunted in displeasure, snatched a gun from Mochi, and went off into the mist. Not a great idea, considering how late it is. <laughs> she chuckled emptily. There were still dried lines of tears down her cheeks. Hmm. Ah. かかかかかかかもうやだな疑疑っったたたりり、りわれたり、mm-hmm. だだだ心配せずとも、明日にはめどがつこう。Will it? そうだなじゃあ、俺も引き上げだ。はい、ない、タクミ。おやすみ。As he left, タクミさん lightly tapped my shoulder. 回復は奇跡的だっつってたぞ、キヨ。大事にしろよ。He gave my shoulder a firm squeeze, then left. Well, it would be sad if we died to the wolf, so I hope the spider protects us.、ええ、I would do whatever I could to survive. Rikako-san didn't speak or even look at me until the very end. I crossed my leg and sat down on my futon. I wasn't tense anymore, probably because I was used to it or because I wouldn't die tomorrow. I just didn't feel like sleeping though. I actually felt really good. Dot, dot, dot. Why had I survived? Was it really aconite? Even I'd heard that real aconite poisoning was lethal. What if it was actually some weird poison that just made it seem like you were dying, then fully recovered afterwards? That kind of trick would be kicked out of the Rookie of the Year mystery novel award in the prep reading. それは逆だね、オリベ・ヤスナガ君。誰でも見えたのだから、怪しい動きをすれば誰かが気づいたはず。と考え、こんなバレバレの状況で母さんが殺人を犯すメリットがあれば言ってください !I can relate to them both. Kinoski, she was right that it was unlikely to be pure, pure coincidence. It probably wasn't. Yasunaga-kun was 
right? That it was unlikely to risk for someone uh, to blah, unlikely risk to take for someone who didn't need to. All this thinking about who done it and why made me feel like I was in some mystery novel. They're in some mystery game, though. Since I could easily dispel all the suspicions on Kari-san, I could more or less see how it was. The very premise was wrong, so I knew exactly what I had to do today. I took out the name and wrote down Yoshitsuke Oribe and put it near my pillow. Well, I didn't even get to choose. Hello? I'm scared. Suddenly, there was a knock on my door. I quickly became tense again. A visitor? Now? Right after I almost died? I decided what to do after seeing their face. Maybe not a good idea. Oh, God. But then I realized this hut didn't have any way for me to look outside the door. Oh, okay. However, there were spaces between the boards of the floor, most likely warped by changes in humidity. I peeked outside through them. Jimmy? Another one. I, I went ahead and asked. Oh, why she came? Yeah. あたしは大丈夫。まだみんなその辺をブラブラしてるし。あの、うん。動画越しでいいから。うん。私何もできてないなって。ああ、だだだ。私落ちこぼれでね。子供の頃から、ここのみんなに迷惑ばっかかけて
ヤス君やったくみにいっちゃったいいろいろ考えることもできないヨシ君も野里さんでさえもできることをしっかりやってるのに僕としては君がいたからこそ全員が心理的な一線を越えずに済んだんじゃないかって思ってるけどどういうこともちろん僕らは人を殺してしまったし不当に人を裁くことにも慣れてしまったそれでも怒りや恨みや悲しみに任せて人を殺せば必ず後で後悔したろうし僕は君がそういうのだけは避けたくて心を砕いてきたってそう勝手に思ってたけどな<笑>ごめんね別にちえみちゃんの理解者を気取るつもりじゃなかったんだ人には向き不向きはあるしついでに僕は君がちゃんとみんなのためになってると春明さんあぁ What? All of a sudden, her voice cracked briefly and weighed down with sorrow. なんでなんでそんな優しいの役立たずじゃん私 Can't be too nice. She deserves better. いっそ言ってよお前、ただの邪魔だって死ねばいいのにって Is she a wolf? Is that why she's so sad? I don't know. 誰が喜ぶわけでもないのに、心にもないことを言いたくはないな。言ってよ嫌いにならないじゃん。Like, why is she saying that? Is it because she did something bad and she has conscience? Is she a wolf? Like, am I reading too much into this? Why does she want to hate us? Dot dot dot. What? We didn't even know her like that in this loop. What's going on? Did she have memory from the past? This wasn't an admission of love. It was an SOS, if not a plea of death. Yeah, she needs help. You are a fool of the world. You are a fool of the world. You are a fool of the world. In the end, she was someone who had abandoned Yasumizu. Even if there was space for her to live, she couldn't just adjust to this way of life, and her thinking was no longer that of a Yasumizu inhabitant. However, moving away didn't solve all her problems either. She saw a glimmer of hope in her homeland and returned here, or so I assumed. But she didn't get what she wanted and suffered in vain, and to top it all off, she was caught up in the feast. It must have been incredibly painful. So that was why she treated me so nicely when we first met. There must have been a profound emptiness in her heart, yeah. But I could have returned those feelings during this loop. I had already accepted someone else. Ah, Chiami, you are amazing and don't let yourself think so otherwise. Chiami really needs some love over here. Like, she just needs someone to like, give her a hug and like, just be kind to her. I feel like she's been going through a lot. I could do that, but that would be an empty gesture. Being granted false hope would only lead to greater despair. So I didn't open the door. Is that a mistake? I couldn't. <laughs> I. I might have underestimated some things here. Trying to save someone you'd given up on was just naive hypocrisy. In the end, you need to be prepared to never see them again. But that only works when you've been physically separated. I was probably the only refuge she had left, but in this mist, there was nowhere for her to hide. She could only attack herself in a roundabout manner by criticizing me. 
and no matter what happened here, it wouldn't end well. Worst case, worst case scenario, she could disappear into the mist again. Could I really write it off simply as a drama between a man and a woman? But I'd already decided. The moment I opened my mouth, what is going on? Ikako san's voice. Oh no, it got bad feelings. Hmm. Oh, not them fighting. うん。そんなの<笑> If she was a wolf, she's a great actor and she saved us. So. Yeah, Haraki is getting everyone's attention. Aww, dot dot dot. She didn't want to hurt Ikako-san. She only wanted to hurt herself, but as one who could do nothing but hurt her, I couldn't say anything. Dot dot dot. あるわき様は私に一瞬の望みをくださっただけむしろ私の浅ましい望みを春明さんが。Oh, I feel bad for both of them. They both need therapy after this. Y'all both need therapy. What? I feel bad. Maybe we'll learn more about it. Da, da, da. That's dark, what she just said. きっと休水は芹沢様を受け入れる。芹沢様の居場所はここです。そして。夫妻様の居場所は藤吉村に生まれた私たちは彼と添い遂げることなど。さあ。戻りましょう。嘘だよ。意味わかんないよ。そんな
霧が晴れたら、最後は、ちゃんとしてね。Backing down was part of a proper breakup. おやすみなさい。I could hear a walk off, and then nothing. だだだ。上松さん。一つ、謝らせてください。何でしょうあの時は、お見苦しいところをお見せしました。こんな時じゃなきゃ、嬉しい状況でしたけどね。OK, ハロワキ。This is not a time for that. やめて。ください。I made the mood less tense, but it wasn't quite enough. じゃあ、真面目に聞きます。あれはそういう演技なんですかだだだあるいは、植松家の務めを果たす際の仮面とでも言うものとか。ふん。I could hear a gasp. ご存知、huh? だったのですか That response proved my assumption was correct. The bedroom woman's, the woman's servant. I should have questioned the lewdness, the derogatory nature of that term a bit earlier. The Uematsu and Fujishi were head family in charge of the night, including secret matters related to it. They weren't just the night watching people in charge of funerals. They also handled the nightly affairs of men and women. That meant they were Fujiyoshi's local sexual service providers. Oh! I feel bad for them now. Oh, I feel bad for her now. Is that why she said that? As the, as the, head, of the, as the head of the family? Hirikako san obviously knew how to handle such things. If I had to guess, all the Umets, Uematsu girls were given such a role. Also, I imagine that taking the poison and corruption was closely related to bodily intimacy. What? I didn't know that much about historical Japan's ideas of medicine, but I knew that the Chinese, the, the Chinese idea of lovemaking and health were closely tied together. Really? I did not know that. Even if there wasn't something like that, knowing the human body, they could have easily performed the logic that it released negative energy. Hmm. Hmm. So I just ate their prey by melting their insides and sucking them out, and oh boy, wasn't that fitting. There were also the Drogumo, the orb weaving spiders, who shared the name of a yokai that was linked to many lustful stories. In the West, the female spider that ate their males were called widows, and the black widow was extremely poisonous. Unnerving. Elegant and sexy at the same time. Spiders were unique creatures that created the webs they used to catch the prey and consume them by melting with poison. Hmm. I couldn't understand why equating them with evil women and enchanting ladies was so universal. And just now, I practically asked her if she was that. Dang. I know I feel bad for them, but, but was she like also. So, was it also like partly a medicinal practice? Because she saved us, right? I was more or less right. Fujiyoshi was once a place where hunters thrived, attacking many outsiders, a lot of whom were rowdy. To keep them from going after the local women, Fujiyoshi had to train specialists with the right set of skills. The Uematsu game influenced by placing their own relatives on that role. Also, prior to that, the Uematsu had some religious significance, turning their monopolization of sex into a sanctified act. Their influence must have spread to birth and child rearing, as well as the yoke of tradition that made them very powerful. The Uematsu successfully gained the control of the darkness most people encountered by donning the filthy title of the bedroom woman servants and the facing that darkness head on. So, maybe this is what Kyodosuke she was talking about. The Mikurama controlled through the public side of faith and politics. The Kikuchi handled food and smithing, new info, while the Nosato handled medicine, along other fields. I wondered where the Uematsu came in, and now it all made sense. But as time passed and their family business ceased having a place in modern society, their influence began to decline. A war. The drop 
and demand in hunting, and the spread of diseases from outside had made the Uematsu lose relevance. And the final descendants of the family had neither the originality nor zeal to adapt to the times and survive. Hmm. Hmm. I feel bad for her. しかし娘が生まれなければ、上松は血でなく、思想で結束していた。その思想が不自由死に否定されれば、私たちは春日を描いた屋台骨のようなも、そして養子縁組など、他の三家が望むはずもありませんでしょう。so you know what? That means Kiyonosuke, she really likes her, like knowing her past and everything. The heads of the spider's family, the priestess of the spider had a dark background befitting that title. And the future was bleak for her as well. The Uematsu were an unnatural relic of the past, and by cutting them off, the other three families would be able to further modernize themselves. Despite no chance of family recovering, Ikaka Uematsu was born into an un enviable position and grown to be another bedroom woman servant. I wasn't capable of claiming I could understand her. It wasn't an exaggeration to say we lived in different worlds. It would have been absurd to even claim I could take on her despair. Are we? I couldn't understand what she meant at all, so I thought about it for a few seconds before I could ask. It's so sad because they both want Haru Haruaki-san, but they both think they can't have him and they're both hurting. And it just feel bad for both of them. Go get therapy, guys. Or girls. Give, give up. What, what is this? Huh? Give up? I'll never give up on my lady. But it's not giving me an option. Oh my god, I had to freaking investigate how to wait. No, because I get up to 14. And she's key 15. So what's going on, guys? Like... <laughs> No, no. I wanna. I wanna not give up. What is give up? I hate it. I don't wanna give up. Why did the locos think it natural to put themselves down and give up on what they wanted? Was it common for the loco breakups to be considered the women's responsibility? What? Or were men the ones who were dumped while the women simply continued pining or something? Was it a custom? Why well, had to say that that was eat shit? But perhaps the ones making the mistakes were the ones who fell in love with girls like that. これで。もう最後にいいですか。はい。あなたは長者として読み読みの宴の秘密に一切関わってませんか。はい。ミグルマが何を考えているかはわかりませんが。Hmm. So the Mugurama knows something? Nara, that, that, that. The silence wasn't too long. But how does that work? That doesn't really make sense, but that made sense. What? It made no sense. And now, she used divinity as a basis. There was no room for me to argue. Hmm. Oh, I guess, is divinity real? Ugh, I don't know. Maybe she knows something else that we would get when we get the other key. Then, I'll meet you next time. 
I hope so. Haruaki sama wa shinu koto wa gozaimasen. But she's saying that she's gonna get Meiko to write us. Shinnai sama kara tamawari shi. Kumo no kago ga anata wo mamorimasu kara. Why is she saying that out loud? People could be listening in on us and that could be bad. She was basically saying that she would protect me. Anata ga yu to kowai kurai hamatte masu ne. Eh? Ie, nan demo nai desu. Meiko ni yoroshiku. Don't say that. Someone could be listening. Hi. Naze? Ashita, aratamete onegai suru to omoimasu ga boku ga tanondara honto no koto wo itte kudasai. それでこのゲームを終わらせます。その時にもしあなたがいなかったら、僕が名古屋警察に連れて行きますよ。もうだつ、probably it was pretty thin, so the floor, hard floor before, the below hurt my shoulders, and I couldn't be even bothered to even react. Did I actually just break up with two women in one evening? You, you, I, when did we ever together with them? You're Delulu, Haruki. You were never together with them. You were just flirting with them. It hadn't even been that long since I'd broken up with Mitsuji. That's the first time we get the name. <laughs> And I'd already made a habit of it. Okay, so he was the one who initiated it? Like, we need to know his backstory. I got on a trip because of a breakup, only to find more of them. How ironic. I couldn't have escaped. Maybe I'd be happiest if I just came in this... If I couldn't... Maybe I'd be happiest if I just came in through Sananga like last time and enjoy some time with Chiemi. I think it's implying that we need to go back to that first route. Because we had some keys. Or was there a better path to take now? I couldn't tell any more. The wolves were out and about tonight. Yeah, I was thinking about this stuff. Was something wrong with my head? Well, there probably was, but this wrongness was different. Still, I saw how things would go. There was one thing that bothered me, though. Would Igaku-san survive? That question, no. Or we remain floating in my brain. Maybe she would not survive in this drought, but maybe we did something besides giving up she would survive? I have no idea, guys. I tried to let go of my consciousness. And he said he wrote down Yoshitsuku-kun or something. Yeah, that means human, I think. Because I see that on the human. And, like, we pretty much trust him, right? Like, we said that if he was a wolf, or I said that if he was a wolf. Like, I want to know what this is. If he was a wolf, like, he wouldn't have tried risking going out at night. Nothing I woke up to came to me as a surprise. I hadn't died. I know it would be that way. After all, all that remained was figuring out how to end things. I merely had to find a compromise between what was happening and what I felt. I know, there were two more things to consider. The wolves could go out of control before the feast even begun. And I didn't know who I had to mourn today. I'm worried. It was five in the morning and everything was still covered in mist. I could see things better than at, than at night, but not by a whole lot. Was Kanzo-san patrolling again? He was no longer like he had been yesterday morning, so I could only hope that he was, but he no longer had a gun. The fact that he, a confirmed human, was patrolling like that was actually pretty good for us. Oh, I don't like this music. I carefully took a step forward. The wolves were liable to appear from the mist at any moment, so I snuck around just in case. However, this was a world of mist and ominous silence. As I walked, the grass swayed, and the crunching of the gravel felt loud enough to be heard by the entire village. In fact, even the sound of my heartbeat was deafening. To hell with this! I had to put myself together! If they were coming, I surely would have heard them, too. I just had to stand still to know if I was in danger. I didn't hear anything. There was no one. Or perhaps everyone was hiding. Dot, dot, dot. As I began to suspect that a murder was about to pop out of the nearby bushes, I stopped running. I went to the side of the road and hid myself. I carefully thought about the situation. If you look at the face of the game, 
the judges were most uninvolved in the progression, leaving it to its players. They only dispensed supernatural deaths to those who killed more than one, or humans who walked around at night. It was really minimal intervention. On the other hand though, that didn't mean they would stick to their rules and keep the number of victims under two. And so far, besides that concern that recorded try tried to kill people even if it meant getting the death penalty, it happened every time. Well, does a person who tried to poison us die, or is it because if we survived they wouldn't die? In other words, the observant of the rules wasn't valued, meaning that having more deaths was than allowed was not a problem. Not only were the humans unprotected, but the wolves who saw justice in the real story were entirely capable of disregarding the corruption to commit murder. Looking at it that way, I had no idea what Game Master, the Great Lord Shinai, was trying to accomplish. Did he really just want to see bloodshed? In that case, why the roundabout method? He was the god of the mountain, the corruption was flawed, the Yomi Beetle were an enemy, but it wasn't clear whether the ones sent to the Yomi were the humans or wolves. It made so little sense. If the corruption was the power of the Yomi, it wasn't even clear where the boundary between the mountain and the Yomi was. In other words, it was safe to think that the Yom mountain and Yomi were the same thing. Shinai was both the mountain and Yomi, a two-faced god who split the Fujiyoshi people worshipping him into two factions on a whim. His aim was this very bloodshed, the mist, the village, everything here. It was like a coliseum to him, a hunting ground basically. I had to be overthinking things, but where is everyone? However, the fact that the rules weren't strict and the punishment wasn't swift created an opening. There was probably a way to clear the game with minimum casualties. I had to make it through the situation though. I made a gamble. After taking a yeah! deep breath. Oh. I screamed at the top of my lungs, then hid. Dot dot dot. If Kanzo san and Takumi heard it, they were bound to come. If a wolf, instead of making a move, they were wondering why something serious happened without their knowing. They couldn't catch me off guard if I hid and watched from the shadows. Dot dot dot. Wait, is everyone dead? Because this is scary. Five minutes passed and yet I heard nothing. What if everyone was already dead? That's what I'm saying. That was impossible. Maybe they knew what I was thinking was now planning to ambush me? I was just guessing, but you never knew what happens in the mist. My next option was to sneak around and look around the whole village. I would move swiftly in short bursts. I'd make noise for sure, but it was also harder for any other potential lurkers to find me. The Okiba were large and had decent amounts of space between them, making them good hiding spaces. I ran and hid. Then I held my breath. Nothing was happening. Not thinking too much about it, I repeated the process. I ran and hid and stayed quiet. Dot dot dot. I ran and hid. Oh my god, this guy scared me. What is going on? <laughs> Why is he like this? Joshi Tsukukun popped out the stone I was aiming for and charged at me. I jumped to the side. The wood cutting axe flashed through the place I was just standing in. What is going on? Da da da. Ha! He angrily threw the axe away in a random direction and screamed. What? No point sneaking around anymore. But this made me understand something. His rage could only want mean one thing. Did his mom die? Is it? Is it Yasunaga or is it Kari Oribe? After waiting for him to calm down a bit, we began walking together, no longer trying to hide at all. If he made so much noise and survived regardless, it was safe to assume that there would be no ambushes, and even if there was, it would be 2v2. We would be on equal footing. As we expected, we made it to the plaza without anything happening. Yoshitsuku hadn't said a whole world word the whole way. He was just breathing heavily, like when he attacked me, and his eyes were so wide that his agitation seemed to become madness. Mitekuru. Oh no. Not waiting for an answer, I went to the dining hall. I was instantly assaulted by a strange reek. We would never eat here again. And I became certain of that fact. 
My heart sank, which was pretty out of character for me. I took a step forward. No. The cupboard's glass was completely destroyed and there were porcelain pieces all over the place. This must have been caused by young Shutsuku's rampage. His bed was upstairs. I went up carefully, just in case, but I didn't feel like anyone was alive inside. The sports and wall were damaged, slightly damaged in places. Hiroshitsuku-kun had taken it really hard, huh? And even the phone, the only one in the village, was completely broken and on the floor. After seeing it, I went further into her room. Da da da. It was the same. The philosophy behind the murder was the same as Haru-chan's. The bloody footprints were standard at this point. There was no doubt this was done by the wolves. What was different that this wasn't a clobbering, but a slashing. Kari Oribe's remains were cut up and drowning in a sea of blood. No. So she can't even confirm, like, if the old wolf guy was bad. She had been torn apart or split up randomly. It was best to say she'd been cut into rings. Ugh. Her body was lying on its back, covered neck to toe in horizontal slashes. It did make it to the bone, but it didn't break through them. Her entire front was cut open like a fish fillet. That's messed up. I couldn't tell whether she died from the blood loss or suffocation due to the multiple neck injuries, but whichever it was, she suffered an awful end. And yet again, for some reason, her face was left completely untouched. She clearly vomited lots of blood, and her expression was downright demonic. Had she been conscious while it was happening? Were the faces of the detestable wolves burned into her now dead eyes? Oh, I see how intense this woman could be, and at this point, part of me felt like it was the real her. However, no matter how demonic, she was definitely a loving mother. To both her two sons, as well as Yasumizo as a whole. I feel bad for her. Looking at her reminded me of the Buddhist goddess Demon Harati, or Kishimo Jin, no matter how relevant that was. And oh boy, it was relevant. In Chinai Sama's courts, gods on the house side had absolutely no power. Dot dot dot. Suddenly, I realized that her arms were completely unharmed. And I also noticed that some of the wounds seemed to be facing downwards. The back of the hand was facing upwards, while the palm was facing down. Despite being the wounds being on the palm, huh? Why? Upon further observation, I noticed something strange about her undamaged hand. Her fingers were in a peculiar position. Her right hand squeezed its pinky and ring finger. Huh. Meanwhile, her left was grasping all the fingers except the thumb. Hmm. Dot dot dot. Had she been conscious when she'd gotten these wounds? Had she put, bent her arms and pushed her fingers on the floor into this position? Was it a shape created by her painful, absurd end? I think she was trying to send us a message. Or perhaps some sort of message. I think it's that. Dot dot dot. Yoshitsuku-kun had caught up with me. Aww. With Yasunaka-kun and a toe. Kasa. だだだ。それだけかよ。それだけ。<笑> そんなのなくてさ、好き放題に生きて。結局僕はこんな子供みたいなことにずっとこだわって延々悩みながらそれでもいつかお前が大人になって母さんも理性的になってこんなわだかまり全部なくなるだろうってもう無理だな。虚し
、兄貴がひねくれてて、どうすんだよ僕は母さんの無念を晴らす。この母さんの指の形が何なのか考えて、割り出して、母さんの敵を打つ。うん。それでお役ごめんだ。母ちゃんはお前のこと好きだったよああ。俺はな、逆に兄貴にムカついてた。母ちゃんは俺にお前の話ばっかする。俺以外にも。いや、一人の時も。It's all funny, like, interesting, I would say. Like, they look so different, but like, they're both like, processing like, their grief in their own ways. And it's so sad because he thinks the mom loves him more, but he, like, they both think that the mom likes the other brother more, which is ironic. I think she loves them both very much. 母ちゃんは最近ずっと親父の写真に独り言言ってたんだ。全部お前のだ嘘だ。嘘じゃねえ母ちゃんはお前の方が好きだったんだよあだから、母ちゃんは俺に、俺に、こんなこと、押し付けてよちくしょーでーん。Suddenly he pushed me aside and went forward and reached for her body. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, my God! Oh, my God! All choked up, he screamed and opened up his dead mother's mouth. <laughs> Wait, what is he looking for? Yes, now I'm going to get it. Yes, now I'm going to get it. Yes, now I'm going to get it. Reached for the wound on her neck. <laughs> huh? <laughs> What he took out was something small and covered in blood. He cleaned it with his fingers, exposing something transparent. Apparently, it was something covered in food wrapping. <laughs> What is that? <laughs> その時は死体かっさばけって。はあ。そんで、出てきたもんを兄貴に渡せって。やっぱり母ちゃんは兄貴の方が好きだったのが、目覚ましやがれ !I don't think so.I think she just trusts.I don't think she loves him more than Yoshitsuku.I think she just knows he is smart and know, like, knows how to figure things out. ふさいし、さん、すみません。開いてもらえませんか、oh, I felt apologetic. ちょっと。I felt apologetic. I probably wasn't even supposed to be here in the first place, so I would at least do this much. The wrap had a rolled piece of paper inside. And when I unrolled it, I just realized how small it was. There was tiny but legible writing on it. The wrap protected any damage caused by blood or saliva, so I could read it clearly. Dot, dot, dot. Was the name of the culprit? What? What does it mean? Oh, I get it. This means, like, I think she was trying to make hand, like, her hands, like, these are the people、um, who, like, is on the suspect list, and then her hands. We're like numbers of people who are sus? Like, you know what I mean? Like, for example, I think like one of them was like she held her like ring finger and the pinky or something. So was it two or was it like three? You know what I mean? So I was talking about Chemi or Mochi, I think. Okay. Please read this together, you two. I always knew you were concerned about my attitude. I wanted Yosunaga to show what he's capable of somewhere far away from this dreaded place, and I would be too worried if I didn't have Yoshitsuku at my side. I came this far with such thoughtlessness, but it doesn't seem like I will survive this night, so please understand this much. I loved both of you more than anything in the world. Please forget everything aside from that and have a fun. Brotherly life from mother. Aww. That's so sad. This wasn't something I could read for them. 
I just spread it out and put on the simple dresser on my side. Wait, I want to see what her fingers were again. Let me see. It doesn't show. The I'm trying to. It's not showing the logs anymore. 二人で読むようにとのことだ。僕はここから出るけど、最後に少しだけご遺体に触れることを許してくれ。They didn't say a word, and I took it as yes. I walked up to the remains, and again, I checked the wounds on her palm were facing down. The right hand's thumb, okay, right hand's thumb, index finger, middle finger, and up. So it's like this. Right? And while on the left hand side, it was only the thumb. So, is this what it means? Three and one? Wait, so is Rikaku bad? Wait, I'm confused. Yeah, what's going on here? It's just the thumb. Right? And that's. But if you do one, isn't it usually like this? So why is it like this? I mean, this is definitely three. So it's mochi. <sighs> right? Let's say what Haruaki has to say. I looked at the wound on Yushizuku, who had reached into and extended my finger towards it. I opened it up and examined the cut. There was just one large tube. Naruhodo. Naruhodo. Wait, what do you mean? Oh. Oh my god. So I think he knows. Takumi san was standing at the entrance of the dining hall along with everyone else. He was armed with a farming tool, while Kanzo san had a hunting knife. It was obvious that they'd walk around all of Yasumi's and woke everyone up. Thus, they understood the situation. The Uribe brothers and I missed them because we left our houses earlier than they came to us. They probably woken up early because they were worried about their mother. Takumi san wasn't saying a word. He just cast his eyes down and tightly pressed his lips. Man, I feel bad. I can't even ship them anymore in this route. I mean, I can ship them, but you know, they can't be together. He vehemently ignored his urge to run to Kari san. As a man who couldn't, or was too late to, become their father, he thought he had no right to step into their family matters. It was a tragedy. From start to finish, I. Ohayo gozaimasu. Mina san. Konna toki de nan desu ga, daitai zenbu wakarimashita. Futari ga ori dekita ra, saigo no utage o hiraku koto o teyan shimasu. Wait, let me see. I just want to read what it said again. So, it was only the thumb. I still don't understand what the thumb means. We'll see. It took a whole hour. I didn't hear any loud noises from upstairs the entire time. That was why, when they came downstairs with the red eyes, we all understand they've been quietly crying. Everyone silently agreed upon my proposal and we went to the hall. We all had our sake, and the eldest among us spoke. Okay, it's time! Oh my god, I am. Yes, now I can instantly raise his hand. I think we need to save this for next time. Because. Yeah, I'm gonna save this for the next time. It's gonna be a lot. And so we know for sure Mochi's bad, and we can see on Kauri san's hand it was a three for Mochi. What does this mean? Like, other? Who else is left? Because Old Man's dead, Kanzo's sure to be good. Um, Takumi is sure to be good, and Kyunosuke, we investigate Yoshitsuku, Yasunaka. So I guess that it was just Mochi, Chiemi, yeah, Bikako, Meiko. Okay, so I guess they were the only alive ones. And other, maybe because like it could have been like an outside force. I don't know, or someone who faked their death. So 
One, two, three. Why does she do three like this? I don't know, maybe they count differently. See, I'll count four like this. Yeah. So is this a one? Is this, but this, so this bit is one because if her three is like this, maybe she counts like one, two, three, or five. So one. But does that mean Rikako is a wolf? But why? You know what? Maybe Rikako is a wolf and we we're being played? I have no idea, but um, we're going to find out in the next episode. But um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I will catch you all in the next episode. Bye!